Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Swift Quick Customs and today I have a fun little project that I wanted to share with you. I decided to see how large I could go. Super size my projects with the Caesar Romeo. But first I wanted to show you what you can do with the Caesar Juliet. You can actually create, this is the original size of the file that, and I will have a link in the description below for this exact file and how you can use it. This is a little box and fits right back together. This one was created with Caesar Juliet. And this one was created with Caesar Juliet. So you can still get large size projects with the Caesar Juliet cutting machine. You can still work with a 12 by 24 cutting mat, which is what I used here to create this size. Now, your design is going, how large you can go, is going to be dependent on the actual design. I will share here in a little bit how I sized this up or how I scaled it up and how I determined how large I could go. Really, I didn't know what size it was gonna be until it was all said and done, but you want to watch for your largest piece that is one continuous piece and size that to the maximum cutting space that you have available for your machine. So now I want to show you what you can do with Romeo. With Romeo, I was able to create this size. This was about and maybe a little bit bigger. I could have gone, but not much. I messed up the first time. I sized the wrong piece, but this is the largest size that I was able to cut with the Caesar Romeo. And I used a Cricut, brand new Cricut mat, Cricut Venture mat I used with the Caesar Romeo. Now, the reason I used this, the Cricut mat was I was able to get a little bit larger size than using the Silhouette 24 by 24 mat. The Cricut mat is 28 inches tall and 24 inches wide. So I was able to get just a little bit larger size with the Caesar Romeo. I'm going to show you how exactly I set that up here in just a little bit, but I have a couple more things to share with you. While you can make supersized projects with the Caesar Romeo, I also was able to go smaller. So you could create any of these sizes, including this, with your Caesar Romeo. And I was able to create this size with the Caesar Romeo. Now, I don't know that I personally could get much smaller than this. The tabs that you glue the pieces together with are really, really super tiny, and it was very difficult for me to get my fingers inside of that to do it, and I was not sure. I took a before photo because I wasn't sure if it was going to end up in little tiny pieces ripped apart because this was a little bit more difficult to put together than any of these. So, all of these are possible on a cutting machine. This large size was cut specifically on Caesar Romeo. You would not be able to cut the same size without cutting the file apart and creating some more tabs for this particular file. Again, every file you work with is going to be different. This, these two here were cut with the Caesar Juliet. You could also cut these two sizes as well with the Caesar Juliet, but these ones were actually cut with the Caesar Romeo. Now, I wanna give you a look at how I worked with this file and I created my designs and sized them to fit on my page. Remember I said, I used this Cricut 24 by 28 inch mat with the new sizes of Cricut paper. Now, Cricut came out with Larger sizes of cardstock, which was easily available to me. Links are in the description below. I did have to wait almost two weeks for them to ship it to me, but that was because I ordered it the very first day, so hopefully shipping will improve on that. But I was able to use this 
because of the way Caesar Romeo works. You don't have the option in the software, in the Leonardo Design Studio software, to work with a 28 inch by 24 inch cutting mat. However, since you are in charge of where the blade housing starts, I simply changed it to a material roll and I set my material size as 28 tall and 24 wide. And then I set up my cutting mat and I set the location where my blade is supposed to start. So I was easily able to cut all these pieces and I will give you a quick glimpse. I did a time lapse of the entire process of not only cutting all of these, but also in putting them together. So I will show you brief glimpses. I don't think you want to watch the full hours and hours and hours of video, but I did do it in time lapse. So it is at a four times the speed and we'll take a look and I'll tell you some things along the way that will hopefully help you with your supersized projects. Okay, so I am in Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software and I have opened up this file. This particular file is from the Silhouette Design Store. I have a link in the description below for the file and a link to a YouTube tutorial on how you can use files from the design store with your Caesar machines. So I've opened this SVG file up and the one thing you wanna keep in mind when you are sizing your projects is that Everything in the file that you're creating needs to be selected when you increase or decrease the size. So this particular file came in grouped, but if it was not grouped, so if I click on this and I ungrouped it for any reason, if I cut this at the same size, I personally would ungroup this and I would move my pieces around to cut on a regular 12 by 12 cutting mat. And that's exactly what I did. So. If you do that or your pieces are not grouped together, you need to make sure that everything is selected before you size your entire project. So I'm going to show you how I sized this for the Caesar Romeo using the Cricut mat, which is 24 by 28 inches. Now you can do this with the Caesar Romeo because of the way you place the blade. So you're going to see on the screen exactly how I do that. An easy way to select everything on your file is if you press Control A or Command A on a Mac, and then you'll see that selection box is around everything. And you can grab this corner bounding box and resize the entire file all at one time. You just wanna make sure that all of your pieces for your project are selected so everything is scaling up or down at the same proportion. So how I set this up for Caesar Romeo, is you do first need to make sure that your Romeo is the machine selected. So if I come over here to file and manage cutters, and I am using software version 1.1.9. If you're on a uh, older version, you may not have this manage cutters. You wanna make sure that Romeo is selected as the machine. Otherwise it will not let you go wider than 13 point something. Um, inches if Juliet is the selected machine, which makes absolute sense because Juliet cannot cut wider than that 13 inches. So if I come over here to my artboard panel, I am going to change this to material roll. Now, first I wanna point out, there are additional mat options in the software. So we do have 12 by 12 inch, 12 by 24 inch, which is what I used when I cut the project on the Caesar Juliet. And then you have a couple others. These are designed kind of, um, more specifically like the Joy, Cricut Joy mat. It's just not called that in the software because they can't use that name. Um, and then you have also this 24 by 24 inch mat, which is a silhouette cutting mat. Silhouette is one of the only others that I know that has a large format um, cutting mat designed for cutting machines until Cricut just launched their new machine. I do not have a venture, but I do have their cutting mat. And this is going to be great for those card stock users or anytime you are cutting completely through a material, you need to use a mat, otherwise you could damage your machine. So a 24 by 24 inch mat is not going to allow me to cut as large as I want using the Cricut card stock. So if I come over here to material roll, I can then select and tell this the exact size of my material. So my material width is 24 inches 
and my material length is 28 inches. And then you're going to see on the screen that my material size changes. This is what allows me to be able to use that Cricut mat and Cricut cardstock. So I was able to really supersize my project. Now, I mean, 24 by 24 inch mat to 28 inch mat, there's four inches. But when you're working with a cardstock project, that could be a factor. And you can go just a little bit larger with it when you do this. So on the screen, I have everything selected. I'm going to grab this corner bounding box. And then what you need to do is you need to figure out which piece of your design is the largest single cut. So originally I thought it was this piece. And once I started cutting everything, I messed up. This is not the largest piece in this file. These pieces here, are actually the largest pieces that need to be a single cut. So I can go larger on this. And what I need to determine is move this piece here. And you wanna make sure that everything on your file is selected all at the same time. So I'm actually going to move this piece off. You want to make sure your largest piece is going to fit on the material size that you have. So you can see I have a little extra room here. If I um, come in here and click 100%, that's going to zoom out to everything that's on my file, which is great in this case when you're working with large projects. This file particular, you have to also keep in mind this long section, and this is what ultimately determined the size of my file. So technically, this is not the largest piece to be cut from a single cut in this file it's actually this long skinny piece so i had to think of that when i was doing my final cuts so once i had the the large piece that i thought was the second large piece on my mat then i pulled this next skinny piece that goes around your mushroom cap onto my mat and look it's not going to cut in my material size so that's why i had to size this down just a little bit and if it hadn't been for that particular piece there, then I probably could have gone even larger. Now, if you are experienced, like I could probably cut this about three inches larger here. I have some extra space here. I could probably do it, but I would have to piece this long section together that goes around the mushroom cap to hold it all together. So I could probably do it, but I wanted to show you how I resized this and worked with just this file alone without editing any part of the file. And then when I go to Romeo and I go to send the design, you do wanna make sure don't separate color. And the reason I wanna do this is because in this particular file, dashed lines are your score lines. And it might be hard to see on the screen here, but Leonardo Design Studio looks at the color, which means it has the color red for the cap and then it has the red for the score lines, but those are two different colors of red. So I'll show you here on the screen. If I leave everything as it is, if I send that, it's going to place the cut line around the design on one mat, and then it's going to place the score lines on a second mat, which means I have to send it through my machine twice. I do not wanna do that. So I'm going to come back to the send tab and I wanna choose don't separate by color. Click send, and then you can see here that it's going to cut both my full cut outlines and my dashed lines that are score lines. Now, every user has a preference on their score lines. I have come from the silhouette background, so dashed lines are fine with me, and I'm perfectly fine with the dashed lines, but I understand that some do not like those, and they'd rather have a crease. To me, the crease, I, I just don't like it. You can also try to set it up where your cut line for your score line cuts very, very thinly through that. And I'll have tutorials on that in the future, but it's just not the way that I do it. So I prefer, I'm good with the dashed line, especially when I have these projects. Like I built five of these. I didn't want to spend the time to mess around with this particular file. I'm going to cut it as is. So then I'm going to show you here some of the process of cutting with the Caesar Romeo and you can see in action how I did that. 
Now you're going to see me working in super speed. This is actually sped up like eight times or faster. Um, you test cuts, always do your test cuts when you are starting with any new material. I was starting with this new Cricut cardstock, and so I wanted to make sure that it was going to cut before I cut the whole thing out. And you're going to see how Caesar Romeo, if you're working with large projects, you need a lot of space. You need some additional room in there. And while it's working, I can talk to my husband. He comes in, he measures Romeo. We're working on some additional storage for different machines since I have a quite a few of them. And then when you're working with cardstock, peel your mat away from your cardstock. That's going to help save your adhesive on your cutting mat and help it release off of that. And then it just really takes practice when you're working with these large cuts and large cutting mats. The cutting mats, when you're working with Romeo at this size, they are monster mats, whether it's the Silhouette 24 inch cutting mat or this Cricut cutting mat. It's going to take you some practice, just like it takes you practice anytime you learn something new and are working with it. So I have a lot of experience as a paper crafter. It's what I've done for almost 20 years. So I bring that into the mix when I do this. And I love making cardstock projects. Now, would I cut this as a supersized project as my original design? No, I would suggest cutting it at the original size and putting that file together first before you do the supersized project. That will just save you some headache. So I have cut all of these different pieces out of the white and the red, and you can see that in action. Now, Juliet and Romeo cut super quick. You can go up to a speed of 13, which doesn't really mean anything, but it is super fast. You cannot compare cut speed from one machine to another based on numbers. It just doesn't work like that. It is super fast, but you do not always want to cut all materials at the fastest speed that you can. Your blade is gonna catch, you're gonna run into different issues. If you're doing an intricate cut, you may want to slow that speed down. I am using a cut speed of about 10. And then as you cut, you're going to find that you need to increase the force on your blade a little bit. I ran into that issue and as I was cutting along, I increased the force, which is great because I can do that right from the screen on the Romeo just like I can do the test cuts. It saves you so much time, it's so fun, um, just to be able to do that so quickly. And then I save my cardstock pieces, any piece I think I can. Then putting the covering back on is one of the hardest parts. And then I'm gonna share with you some of this. I'll link in the description below the supplies I used and the uh, glue that I'm using um, as well. Again, I would recommend cutting and putting this file together at the original size, follow the instructions, link in the description below to this file, which also does have instructions once you purchase it. It is a video or a photo tutorial on how to put it together. When you're working with large projects like this, it is going to take longer for that glue to set up. So you're going to have to, um, you know, hold that longer together before you move on to the next step. Even though I look like I'm working at super speed here, I'm not. I'm taking my time and I wanna make sure those pieces stay together. Now, I have to say, working with the large cardstock, you know, whether you go super sized or whether you go super small, each one has its own limitations or, or different ways that you need to work with it. So you'll see here, I'm just creasing those score lines getting it ready to glue all the pieces together. And if you put it together at the regular size, then you kind of have an idea of how the whole file goes together. And just like everything else, the more you do it, the better you get at it. And so this is my fourth one that I have put together in this video that you're seeing on the screen. And each time I learned a little bit different and a little bit faster way to put it together and in this case, I really needed to set those pieces aside to dry so that glue would dry. When you're working with liquid glue, if you get too much on it, it's going to cause your cardstock to warp. I tried to use the full bottle with a whiter tip on one section when I was running out of glue in my precision tip bottle, and I wasn't happy with that. It left too much of too wide of a glue mark and I could see it afterwards. I'd have to look at the final project now that it's had a time to set up but whether that made a difference or not. Supersized projects take time. 
all of these projects that I cut, I cut five total and I assembled five total um, mushroom designs and they take time. So just like any of your projects, you need to account for that. That is not a machine issue. That is not a design file issue. That is, it's just, it takes time to create projects. And I had a lot of fun. You know, I get these projects in my head and try to, I had to find a design for this particular video that was not super intensive to put together. Um, I've created, I have link it in the video description below. I created a 3D lighthouse. When I decided to try to do that supersized, you know, that was kind of a uh, decision-making process for me because that one took a, a while to not only cut, but also to assemble. So did I wanna do that and show you five different sizes of that? I tried to look for a file that was simple to put together, that would be easy to show you what you can do and what is possible with the Caesar Romeo. Now here's the piece that is actually the longest piece. You're seeing me put that around the cap. It actually holds everything kind of together. And that is the piece that determined the final size I was able to cut in one go with the Caesar Romeo. Now I could, like I said, I could edit the file and work with that, but I decided not to. And here is the finished box. It was so fun to make these. Now my kids want them. Here's a couple finished photos of all five of those. Now again, the smallest one is probably the most difficult to put together just because you are working at a smaller size. And a couple more photos here. I've hoped you enjoyed the video and the tips. Supersize your projects with Caesar Romeo, but you can also cut large projects with the Caesar Juliet. Thanks for joining me. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications for future content.